The third speaker coming to the stage tonight is known by many as the Orange Shirt Guy. <laughs> he is a globally connected entrepreneur, educator, and startup ecosystem builder whose passion is helping people become first-time entrepreneurs. Please welcome Craig Elias. <laughs> As you heard, my name is Craig Elias, and in 1999, I moved to Calgary to do the executive MBA. And when I moved to Calgary, I knew nobody, and I knew if I was going to be successful, I had to build a network, and I start the process of building a spectacular network. Today, I am the entrepreneur residence at Bow Valley College, and I run about 100 events a year out of this space uh, at Platform Calgary. How many of you know where Platform Calgary is? Yes, awesome space. But every time we start those 100 events, the first thing we do every time is we get people on the event to network. My passion, as you heard, is helping people become first-time entrepreneurs, especially youth or students. And these are some of my favorite events. Once a year, in the second weekend of May, we get students from all the way across the province to come down to Calgary and start the journey into entrepreneurship. My second favorite event is called Founder Fridays, where every month we buy 100 copies of an author's book interview the author and give away the copies of the book. How many people here have or would like to have their own business one day? Hands up, okay? Some of which I can see, okay? So <laughs> if you wanna be a successful entrepreneur, there is data that says the one thing that predicts your success is basically the size of your network. And I wanna tell you one of my favorite networking stories. Dory on the left was someone I used to work with in Vancouver, and one day he phoned me up and said, Craig, Craig, there's this idea competition on the internet and first prize is a million dollars, you should enter the competition. I entered, I got into the finals, I reached out to Randy who's up on the top, he had me put together my pitch, I ended up winning and I went to three guys below to get the business plan written. This is my dog. In order to collect the money I had to move to California and I lived on an island halfway between San Francisco and Oakland. And I moved to California and all of a sudden knew nobody and I had to build my network from scratch all over again. But this time, I had a secret weapon. My secret weapon was LinkedIn. Remember Dory? On day eight of LinkedIn, Dory told me about LinkedIn. There's a billion users of LinkedIn today. I am user 3,956 of a billion users. And I've learned the bigger your network, the faster things happen. One day I had this crazy idea to run a five day event and I went to my boss, the dean on the top left. He says, you're gonna need money. So I spoke to Carl who emailed Kerry, who told Jill Cross, who introduced me to Richard, the ball guy, who gave me the money I needed and five, sorry, three weeks later I had a five day event for 150 people. Now networking is something we all naturally do. My wife and I just came back from Costa Rica. It was 34 degrees when we left and minus 30 when we got here. But when you meet people at, when you're at holidays, what do you do? Whether it's in the shuttle or the pool, you say, where are you from? What do you do? This is easy, everybody should do this. So everybody, stand up. Everybody, let's go, stand up. Go find someone you don't know and shake their hands. Come back when I clap my hands, go say hello. If you can hear me now, clap once. If you can hear me now, clap twice. If you can hear me now, clap three times. Let's go back to our seats. Now, why did you network with somebody? Because I gave you permission. When you go to a networking event, that permission is implied. And when you go to a networking event to build a spectacular network, you need to learn things about each other. You need to learn what's called propinquity. What are the things you actually have in common. The more stuff you have in common, the more likely you are to build a spectacular network. So we're gonna do this all over again. Stand back up, <laughs> let's go. Okay, one more time, meet somebody new, shake hands, go. shook someone's hand the second time round is not because I told you to, but it's because you had a target. 
When you go to a networking event, always have a target in mind. My target is to meet the speaker, and one day I met the prime minister because of that. Now, one of the events I went to when I was down in California, I met a guy named William. He asked me, Craig, you've got a great story. How can I help? And out of my back pocket, I pulled out that I wanted to meet this very famous guy named Guy Kawasaki. And William says, guess what? He's a friend of mine. Here's his number. Tommy needs to give you 30 minutes of his time. And I got my 30 minutes of Guy Kawasaki's time. He taught me two things. The first thing he taught me is hope is not a strategy. If you want to build a spectacular network, you need to think big, act small, and start now. The second thing I learned from Guy Kawasaki is eat like a bird and poop like an elephant. <laughs> but what I, when he says this, here's what he means, especially when you're trying to build a spectacular network. You should be looking for all these things that might be of interest to other people. Sign up for newsletters, emails, subscribe to blog posts, um, maybe go to LinkedIn on occasion. And then you might be thinking, well, how much value is this information to someone I already know? You think they already know all this stuff, but sometimes the information they need the most is right in front of their face and they just can't see it. So what I love to do is I love to go to LinkedIn at least a couple of times a day, find some things that are of interest and share them with somebody else. Sometimes I do it by text. I'll just say, have you seen this? Or on LinkedIn. I do this for two reasons. One, I'm sharing something with somebody who I think they could use it. Second of all, it makes it really easy for me to find it when I want it later. <laughs> Anybody notice the lady second on the list? My wife and I met her in the pool in Costa Rica. So I want to leave you with one thing. Consistency is more important than perfection. So you don't have to go to a lot of different networking events. Go to the same ones on a regular basis. The world is small and life is long. So what I want you to do before you go home tonight is go reconnect with the two people you shook hands with, find out what do you have in common and how can you help them build a spectacular network. Thank you.